welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. Today we're gonna do something yummy for Valentine's Day. Hmm, when is Valentine's Day? Cameraman, cameraman! Four days from today. Oh, okay, we have four more days till Valentine's Day. So that means you have at least three more days, or you can make it on Valentine's Day, four to make this easy peasy recipe. Um, let me know. Uh-oh, I said, um, not supposed to say, um, so let me start over. What are you all doing on Valentine's Day? Let me know in the comments column. Are you doing anything special? Cameraman, are we doing anything on Valentine's Day? Very special. Oh my, and can you give me a hint? I'm sorry, I am at liberty to do that. All right, I'll be surprised. Well, today we're making a red velvet cheese ball. Yes, you may have heard that before, but today I'm gonna to show you a way to make it easy. It's a little bit of a hack, I guess you could say. So, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna need is our mixer, our stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand-held um, electric mixer. I'm gonna put into the stand mixer eight ounces of regular cream cheese. I'm gonna put in a half a cup of salted butter. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix the both of them until they're smooth. Whoopsie! Gotta put the bowl up. <laughs> Cameraman's making eyes at me. notice I put my heart necklace on for Valentine's Day and I broke my rule. I put red lipstick on and I never wear red lipstick, but it's all for you. All right, so after we've combined the cream cheese and the butter, I'm going to add to that, I have a box of red velvet cake mix. You're not adding the whole box. You're adding one and one half cups. This is my little hack kind of gives you a head start on the recipe, makes it easier for you. So I'm gonna add one and a half cups of the dry red velvet cake mix to the butter and the cream cheese. There we go. I'm also gonna add in powdered sugar, a half a cup of powdered sugar, that's confectioner's sugar. And I'm going to add to that two tablespoons of your dark brown sugar. And then we're gonna mix all of that up. We're gonna beat it until it's nice and smooth. Smells good. And you'll see it turns a nice um, deep red color, which is just what we want. channel 
YouTube is getting fussy and they don't like us to say that other word. But anyway, hit the sub, you know what button down below the video. It's red, it will turn gray. When it turns gray, it means you are one of my subscribers. And uh, also, there's a little bell next to it. Hit that bell because YouTube has billions of people on there making videos. And if you don't hit the bell, you won't get a notification that I have a new video up and I'll get lost in space and you may never find me again. So hit that little bell. I really would appreciate it. Alrighty. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this mixture onto the plastic wrap. It's gonna be um, soft. Let me hold up the bowl so you can see what it looks like and hear the color of it. Look at that. Isn't that perfect for a nice red velvet cheese ball? Now I'm sure you all know that this is a dessert ball. It's served with cookies. It's not a savory cheese ball. So I'm gonna turn this on to the plastic wrap. Maybe the cameraman can zoom down there so we can see this. Oh, it really smells so good. I'm trying to hurry this video along because I don't want it to be so long that you won't want to watch it. And I wouldn't want you to miss it. So let me get this on here. Mm, perfect color red for this red velvet ball. Get it all out of here. Mm. Okay. All right. Now, once you get it all turned onto the plastic wrap, you're going to wrap it with the plastic wrap. Try to make it into a, a bit of a ball. And you're going to refrigerate it for a minimum of two hours. You see how I tried to form this into a ball now? All right, see that? You just have to squish it a little bit with your hands in the saran wrap and make it into a nice ball. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator now for two hours, I'm gonna have lunch, and then I'll be back to show you what we do next. Okay, I took the red velvet ball out of the refrigerator, had it in there for two hours. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic wrap. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put anywhere from a half a cup to a cup of the mini chocolate morsels in a plate. And I'm going to put the ball in there and I'm gonna roll it gently on the morsels oops, so we can uh, coat the um, cheese ball with the chips. So let me do that. Turn that over. See how they all stick to it? Mmm. This is a half a cup. I'm going to probably have to add a few more. See how they stick to it? Because it's still gooey. It's chilled, but it's gooey. I'm gonna sprinkle a few more here on the top. Be easier that way. And I can get them around the sides better. There we go. See how this comes out? And we tasted it. We did a little sampling from the bowl before. Oh, was it good. All right, let me get this coated with all these chocolate bits. All right, now I'm gonna put it in a nice little glass bowl that I have. Move this out of the way. Wipe my hands. And now you're gonna serve this with, um, I like to serve it with vanilla wafers. I have a box of these um, 
vanilla wafers, they call them. But any kind of vanilla wafers, or if you prefer, you can put graham crackers around there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them all around the ball on the dish. And serve this at a party. And let me tell you, you'll get a round of applause. It's delicious. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'll continue putting them around the, uh, all around the dish later. But right now, I wanna get a little sampling of this. So I have a little knife here. You take a cookie and try it. See how nice it comes out? Just like if it was a cheese spread. Mmm. Mmm. Does that look good, cameraman? Mm hmm. Let me taste this. Mmm. Delicious. Creamy, 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 creamy. Sweet, but not too sweet. Delicious. Give this a try. Make it for your family. Next time you have to bring something to a party with you or you're having guests over, try this. You saw how easy it was. You will love it. Mm. So anyway, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit that subscribe button and make a comment. I want to hear if you're doing anything on Valentine's Day. So, I will see you very soon. Toodles!